If you take multivitamins to improve your health, you may be wasting your time and your money. Tony, your side, Stephanie Harris is here to tell us about the latest research and what it means for us. Stephanie? Well, Nicole, the research found that older women who took multivitamins had a slightly higher death rate. Researchers emphasize they can't say why this is, so what should you do? Well, here is what you need to know. If you take vitamins, you may be getting too much of a good thing. Researchers followed 38,000 women and found higher death rates in those taking multivitamins. But the research only looked at white women, average age 61. Really? Good thing I don't take them. I'm 62. <laughs> Nancy Greening giggles, but admits she does take other supplements. So do millions of other women. It's a $28 million a year industry. But no matter how they're advertised, doctors say they're not medically necessary for most people. By and large, if you eat a well-balanced diet, which contains natural amounts of vitamins and minerals, you don't really need dietary supplements. Dr. Robert Palmer is director of the Glennon Center for Geriatrics at Eastern Virginia Medical School. And don't forget that much of our food is already fortified with vitamins and minerals. So if you're taking supplements on top of what you're getting already from your diet, you may actually be getting too much. Dr. Palmer points out the research does not prove taking vitamins causes death, and people with deficiencies should continue to take them as recommended by their doctor or dietitian. But for healthy women, I feel good, yeah, yeah, I feel really good. Like Nancy Greening, save your money and maybe your health. Now this research also showed something interesting, that calcium supplements appeared to have a protective property. Women who took them lived slightly longer. Stephanie Harris, 10 on your side.